Are you looking to find a short-term rental property along Colorado's Front Range? Then I've got the top five most friendly Airbnb cities along Colorado's Front Range where you can find a short-term rental property with little to no zoning laws or restrictions. Make sure and stick around for the entire video because at the end, I'm going to share my top favorite city for owning and operating an Airbnb property in Colorado. It might just surprise you. Stay tuned. All right, so number one on my list of top cities for owning and operating a short-term rental along the Front Range is Loveland, Colorado. As of October of 2022, Loveland currently doesn't have any ordinances or zoning restrictions around operating a short-term rental. It's also nicely situated in an area that's easily accessible to cities like Fort Collins or Boulder, where there's universities there. They also have plenty of hiking options in the immediate surrounding area. It's also a really cute city with a lot of artist galleries and attractions for people that uh, enjoy the arts. It's a great city for restaurants and cafes too, really adorable downtown. So highly recommend Loveland, Colorado. So next on my list is Colorado Springs. And with Colorado Springs being a military town and a tourist destination for people wanting to visit Garden of the Gods or Pikes Peak, this is a great place for short-term rental. Keep in mind, there are some zoning restrictions there, but I promise they're not scary. If it's not your primary residence, your Airbnb property must be zoned commercial. If it is your primary residence, you also must live there six months out of the year. So keep that in mind, but overall, it's a great city to own and operate a short-term rental. So Arvana is coming in at number three on my list, and Arvana is a suburb of Denver and it's a great spot for a short-term rental due to its proximity to Denver. Denver is one of the busiest Airbnb cities in the country at all times of the year, so people are always looking for a short-term rental there. And what I love about Arvada as a short-term rental city is that they don't have too many restrictions when it comes to owning an Airbnb property. One thing to consider, a property owner can have up to three short-term rental properties at a time, but there's a caveat. You can have one reservation per property at one time. One thing that's great about Arvada is that it can be either owner occupied or a non owner occupied property, but overall super cute town, very close to Denver, perfect for an Airbnb property. All right. So next on my list is Fort Collins, which is another great city for owning an Airbnb. In my experience, I found that university towns are great places to have an Airbnb because you have people traveling to town to visit their kids, to see a game, to go to a concert, do a college visit, or you might have some grad students who need a place to crash for a while. Fort Collins also has very few restrictions when it comes to owning an Airbnb property. Fort Collins allows for both owner-occupied and non-owner-occupied short-term rentals in certain zoned areas. You're required to fill out an application to get a license, but other than that, fantastic city for owning a short-term rental. And finally, this is my own personal favorite location for owning a short-term rental, and that's Longmont, Colorado. Longmont is about 15 to 20 minutes away from Boulder and the university there. It's also a 45 minute drive to Estes Park, which is a popular tourist destination, or another 45 minutes to Denver, making it a great centralized location for a short-term rental. We own a short-term rental here and it does great throughout the year. We have about 95% occupancy in the summer months, about 85% occupancy in the winter months. The only restrictions you have here in Longmont is that you must be the primary resident to own and operate a short-term rental. But if you are a Longmont resident already, you can have one additional short-term rental property that you don't have to be the primary resident for, or you can simply own a separate investment property as a short-term rental as well. So a lot of great options for Longmont, a lot of flexibility here. The permitting is really easy to get here for the most part, and uh, we love it here having a short-term rental. So I highly recommend investigating the city if you're looking for an Airbnb property. So now that you know about all the best places along the front range to own and operate a short-term rental, hit the like and subscribe button below so you can watch my next video on the top tips for finding the perfect Airbnb property in cities like Longmont, Colorado, when you are the primary resident. In this video, we're gonna talk about what it looks like in terms of location, layout, and most importantly, things to avoid when you're doing your property search. You'll wanna stick around for the entire video because at the end, I'm gonna share a link to my free checklist of everything you need to consider when you're doing a property search. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or send me an email and I'd be happy to help.